Hey everyone, it's Leanne Up. Welcome back to DIY Beauty on Purpose. Today I am bringing you with me onto my backyard as I start getting it ready for summer. Um, there's still feel a few things I still need to get done, but overall I, uh, I bring you several DIYs to save some money but still get it um, ready for summer. One of the first things that I am going to be doing is updating my flower pots. I have had the, the same flower pots and I'm not lying when I say for about five years now or more. Um, so I'm not going to spend the money because there's still a lot of them are in good shape and I just think they just need an update. So I am going to give them a nice fresh new look using some outdoor uh, paint. This is by Glidden and I'll have the color link down below. It's the same color I recently used on a side table that I refinished. Um, it's beautiful, it's teal, it's bright, and it just screams summer. And so this pot I have had on my deck for, like I said, for many years. And every year I get different flowers for it. But this year I wanted to give it a fresh new look and that's what I am doing here. I gave it two coats. So this pot here I had already painted last season last summer this one and the one that you see there on the upper right hand corner um, and it withheld all summer and all winter and I was happy so I'm reusing them again so I am just going to plant several of the florals florals that I got at the warehouse store oh my gosh at the hardware store and I'll do that for both of them now these pods that I'm working on here with my little guy there helping me, um, I'm going to leave as is. They're actually white, but they are in great shape. Um, they have a very beautiful texture to them, so I'm not going to do much with them, but I'm just going to remove or uproot last season's or last summer's old flowers that were there still. I should have done this in the fall and I didn't. And just plant new florals. My backyard is full sun, so the florals that I got are meant to be in the sun or at least I hope so <laughs> um, I'm not much of a green thumb person so I need things that are gonna make it simple for me so these pots um, are the largest pots that I have in my backyard again I have had them for many years these are actually not on my deck but these are more uh, right in front of the pool on each end of it um, or each corner I should say so they were already I have two of them as you can see they were just dingy and gray and they were just already looking old and bland so I gave them both two coats of the same paint color and I hope you agree with me but I think it's just livelying them up it gave them life <laughs> let's put it that way um and I just love it I just think it looks really uh summery and fresh and festive and i really like it now these also i also got these florals i also got at the hardware store and i was a little nervous because i have never bought the the flowers that have like already like the set already planted if that makes sense so it was pretty large but i got it in there and it, and finally was able to like make it work but it did give me a hard time now this may look repetitive, but the reason why I'm showing you painting this other pot is because this is actually a spare pot that I have had for the same amount of years. I just never used it. It's been in the shed and I never used it as a pot. So I painted it the same way. I gave it two coats with the same paint because I'm going to turn it into a side table for my outdoor sitting area. So again, I gave it two coats and then I went to the hardware store again <laughs> and I got one of these already like set tabletops. It could be used for a stool or a side table or whatever. You can even make a tray out of them. But I got one. They were about $11, give or take. I think it was 11 something. Um, and I'm not going to stain it. I'm not going to paint it. I'm actually just going to seal it with a polyurethane to protect it from the elements so it keeps that nice fresh wooden tone i just thought 
painting it or staining it i didn't know i didn't i didn't really like um the thought of it so maybe in the future i'll paint it but for now i just like that natural wood tone so i gave three coats on the top and back as well so on both sides and then i let it fully fully dry So after it was dry, I am now placing the empty flower pot, just like this. And I'm just gonna try to find or eye the center. So just making sure that the pot is centered to it. And then I'm gonna grab my drill and a few screws. And I'm just making sure that the screws are not too long. Obviously, I don't want it to go through the, the wood top. And I'm just gonna screw it in, making sure that it's nice and secure. And then that's it. I mean, that was a quick DIY and my daughter, she's seven and she said, I don't like it, mommy, <laughs> but I do. I think it kind of brings the same colors and I don't know. I was happy with the way it turned out, but she's a stinker and she told me she didn't like it. <laughs> All right. So for my next DIY, I got this full size cushion at the Dollar General. It was $16. This is one of those that goes into like a lounger and it's a full size. So it's a back and the seating part. It's all connected together. When I saw it at the Dollar General, I love that it had that same teal color that the flower pots now have. And I thought to myself, oh my gosh, I think this will look great as pillows for my four chairs in my sitting area. So I thought I'm going to buy it, I'm going to cut it, and I'm going to sew four different pillows. And I did. But I was so nervous because I've never dealt with this kind of fabric. It's thicker. It's outdoor fabric. And I just, I'm a little nervous. But nonetheless, I cut. And then at first I thought I'm going to just cut and then leave the stuffing in there and just sew it. And it didn't work out. So I had to unstuff all this stuffing. And this was like the weirdest looking stuffing I have ever seen. You'll see it here in a minute when I try to, or when I start to restuff the pillows. But um, one thing I should have done different is I should have sewn it inside out. I don't know why in my mind I thought, oh, I'll just, you know, sew it and then I'll trim it. And I did. And I think for purposes of getting it done, it was, it was nice and it's going to be durable. But I will see a lot of fringe coming out because I didn't I didn't do it right. But overall, I think I I mean I really like it and I think it'll it'll last all summer. But anyways, so here I'm still trying to figure out cutting and making sure that I'm cutting as straight as possible. And there's the stuffing, isn't it kind of like odd? I've never seen stuffing like that. So it had a zipper too. So here's the zipper. I didn't even know that. I should have turned it around and I had a zipper. I don't know why that zipper was there, but I cut it off. And so the plan is to sew it. So at first I thought I'm gonna sew this part and then I'm gonna go back and cut in the middle. And then I saw that one and it just didn't work out. So I ended up just, again, like I mentioned earlier, unstuffing everything, cutting the fabric and here it is. And I'm just gonna sew. So I'm just gonna sew and leave about, I would say about eight inches at the end to make sure I can stuff it and then go back and um, sew it. And there they are. I think they're pretty cool. I like them. I think they came out pretty good. If you look at the seam closely, yeah, I guess I could have done a better job. But So right now I'm just getting rid of all this dry leaves and all this junky stuff from this side of our backyard. Because right above it, I'm going to be placing some towel hooks that I found also at the Dollar Tree. They were only $3 each. I thought that was a great price. Look how cute. They're button kind of style and I put three on each side of the deck and basically I just put a screw on the deck and then put them in and make sure it was nice and tight. So now I'm just going to put things where they go and um, show you the end result. It was kind of a simple video, just several DIYs just to show you that not spending a lot of money but maybe giving some things a fresh coat of paint can give things a fresh look 
and save you money and still look very fresh and neat. So this is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I'm trying to keep, I kept it simple for you. Um, but I hope you get something out of it. I hope it inspires you to update maybe what you already have. Maybe go to some dollar stores and find a few things to complement it. Don't forget to DIY as much as possible and have fun. If you have not subscribed to my channel and you are new, I invite you to subscribe and uh, become part of our YouTube family. I upload videos every single week and I'd love for you to um, join us. And if you are returning, thank you for coming back and I hope you all have a blessed day.